All right, Shalom, giving all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak Wadash, double honor to the apostles and others, great millstone for teaching this truth that has gone all around the earth. Shalom to the hopefully elect out there, to all the brothers who are pushing this truth on the four corners of the earth, and to you few sisters who have returned to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, say to you all, Shalom, this is your brother, Atazwan Bayat. And this lesson that I'm bringing this evening is going to be real, real short. Okay, and I'm going to have to be real careful um, about how I how I do this lesson because, you know, YouTube is playing their games. So we have to almost speak in a parable or code of, of sorts. Okay, in order to uh, get the lesson done, you know, to try to avoid algorithms and so on and so forth. Okay, um, so... I have to kind of beat around the bush or what have you, use different words as to not get a strike, okay, or get this lesson taken down. I'll do my best, so I got to be a little creative. All right, so anyway, this lesson is going to be on what you see right there in front of you, WHO, and you know who they are, right? Investigating mysterious illness in South Sudan that has killed 97, right? Now, this story just came out not, not too long ago, a few hours back. And um, let's just get right into it because we know for, for some time now they've been pushing, right, the VAX um, almost to every nation and particularly over there and that place, that, that continent, where they, they call it Africa. Um, and so they've sent, they being the uh, USA, okay, have sent some of their J&J &J vaccines. Hopefully they don't get me for that one. Um, over there, okay. And we know what time it is, right? So let's read a little bit about this report that they have. Okay, and it reads, uh, the WHO is investigated a mysterious illness in South Sudan that has killed dozens of people. So far, 97 people have died of the unknown disease and Fagank uh, John Glee State, if I'm saying that right, in the northern part of the country. Fangak County Commissioner Bael Boutros Bael told ABC News on Thursday that the latest fatality occurred in an elderly woman. And you know, we I saw a report where they said that this is almost like a trend that's going on. Um when it comes to the VAX and elderly people, um, that they're giving them this thing and there is a good number of them that are, are dying from it, okay? Um, and that's in the States as well as over there on the African continent, okay? Going on, it says deaths have mostly been reported, let's see, if I can highlight it. Among the elderly and children, one to 14, according to a statement by South Sudan's, Sudan's Minister of Health. The symptoms of the mysterious illness include cough, diarrhea, fever, headache, chest pain, joint pain, loss of appetite, body weakness, officials said. Bael said that the WHO team that traveled to Fangak has since left but did not communicate their findings to local officials. In a statement to ABC News, Collins Boaki Agayimang, a spokesperson for WHO Africa, said the agency began investigating the outbreak in November but did not provide further details. According to BBC News, because the area has recently been hit with heavy floods. The WHO tested, tested samples from patients for 
cholera, which is typically contracted from infected water supplies. However, the samples return negative for the infectious bacterial disease the outlet reported. And all this is is Esau's witchcraft in that VAX. Okay, and it's killing them people over there. Essentially, that's what it is. But they're not, they're not coming out saying that's what it is. They're saying it's a mysterious illness. Well, you can't believe what Esau tells you. Let's see here. Um, let's see here. Let's go to this little paragraph or sentence right here by El Tol. ABC News that some non governmental organizations have delivered medical supplies to Fangake and are in the process of setting up mobile clinics to help treat people. In a statement last month, International Humanitarian Group Medicines Sans Frontiers Doctors Without Borders called the floods a perfect storm for disease outbreak. Please do not have Salakia. People do not have enough water or options for water storage and there is no garbage collection. While dead goats and dogs are left rotting in the drainage systems, the statement read, with the conditions further worsening by the influx of new arrivals, people are at higher risk of outbreaks and waterborne disease such as acute water di diarrhea, cholera, and malaria. Well, they got to have something to blame it on. Okay, so let's go over here and look at this. Pulled up uh, just a little bit of information on the CV19 VAX, right? And it says here, um, CV19 US donates 168 J&J &J vaccine doses to South Sudan. So the people are dying over there, right? But they're not trying to link it to this. But we know what it is, okay? And <clears throat> the whole point of the lesson, really, let's, let's, let's look at this also, this article here, see what it says. It's locked in. The U.S. shares an additional 336,000 doses of the J&J &J CV19 VAX with South Sudan. And that J and J was supposed to be the one everybody was afraid of, right? Because <clears throat> they've been known to have tainted and horrible medicine, so they say, right? So anyway, the whole point of the lesson is that even with those people over there, okay, those Hamites, they did damage to us Israelites. Okay, and I'm just going to read a couple of scriptures and we'll be finished. Okay, but the point being that the Lord has not forgotten what those people did to us. Okay, now you have people in history who try to tell you that, well, you know, Africans sold other Africans into slavery. Well, when you're talking about the transatlantic slave trade, you're talking about Africans selling the Israelites to the Grecians or to the European, so-called Europeans, all right, Esau, Edom, okay? And them small hats who are funneling the money into the transatlantic slave trade and the building of the ships that carried us, okay? Which they're not, they're not admitting to that, but that's, that's what the history shows. You can go out there and find that on your own, okay? But we're gonna hit a couple of scriptures Okay, where the Lord said he's not going to forget what they did. All right. And the Lord is going to recompense them. Okay, because now you have to look at this. We are in the last of the last days, man. Everything is coming together. It's coming together. Like like that old uh, uh, TV series, The A-Team. Love it when a plan comes together. Okay, the Most High's plan is coming together right in front of your eyes, okay, as it was prophesied to do so. And so now you have to know that these are the last days, okay? So to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, 
these native and Seminole Indians out there, if you haven't repented and come back to your how about Shemmy I was shy, I don't know what you're waiting on, okay? But you you better you 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 better tighten up because it's getting ready to get really, really bad. But even in this, this is somewhat of a sign that the Lord is gonna is recompensing those people over there and they're dropping dead from taking these vax. Okay. So uh, let's read Amos 1 and 6. Okay, uh, start right there, verse 6. It says, Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Gaza and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because they carried away captive the whole captivity to deliver them up to Edom. Okay, the so called white man. All right, verse 7. But I will send a fire on the wall of Gaza, which shall devour the palaces thereof. Let's, let's do something real quick here. Salakia. So I'm trying to remember who who they are actually. Azar. Let's go into it. Okay. Okay, right here. Another name for Gaza, a city of the what? Philistines. Okay. Hamites. You see? So let's go back and uh, finish the verses out and get one more scripture and we'll be done. I didn't intend for this to be long, okay, because. When I saw it, I said, you know what? I'll just make a quick lesson out of it and get to the point on it, okay? So let's go to uh, verse eight right here. And I will cut off the inhabitants of Ashdod and him that holdeth the scepter from Ash Ashkelon and will turn my hand against Ekron and the remnant of the Philistines shall perish, saith the Lord power. And see, these are people that hurt us, okay? And the Lord's getting ready to bring judgment on this whole place. All right. We know Babylon the Great. We know the fate of that. But you also have to remember all these other nations that had a hand in bringing us into captivity. Okay. Verse 9. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, for three transgressions of Tyrus, which is another port-like city of the, of the uh, Hamites. And for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof because they, what, delivered up the whole captivity to Edom and remembered not the brotherly covenant. Verse 10, and I will send a fire on the wall of Tyrus, which shall devour the palaces thereof. Let's go down here to verse 11. Thus saith the Lord, how about Shemmy, I was for three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof because he did pursue his brother with the sword, right? So-called white man, Esau, Edom, and did cast off all pity. They have no pity for us, right? Us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. With the Native Americans, they broke every treaty that they ever made. With us ne Negroes, they, 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 they whipped and beat and raped. Same thing for the Latinos, right? Raped, beat, killed your kids, sold you, so on and so forth, okay? Show no pity, and to this, to this day, they show no pity. And his anger did tear perpetually, right, ongoing to this day. And he kept his wrath forever, still going on, okay? But the Lord said, hey, he's not gonna turn away their punishment. All these other nations that have gotten rich off of buying and selling the Israelites all around the world or the all nations of the earth, if you will. You see? So let's quickly go to the last scripture here in Joel and then we'll end it. I just wanted to hit this real quick since I did see it. And you know that as everything is going on in the earth right now, this is part of judgment for these other nations. And those Hamites over there dropping dead from that, you know, from that Pope. Okay. 
This is Joel 3 and 1. For behold, in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations. This is getting ready to talk about the war, right? Armageddon. Okay, but we're going to go a little bit further till we get to the point. I will also gather all nations. will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them, Salakia, and will plead with them, therefore, what? My people and for my heritage, Israel. Now, you just, you understand it, that the people of Israel belong to the Lord. Okay? He's not talking about anybody else. He doesn't call any other nation his people or his heritage except Israel. Okay, I'll start again at the top of verse two. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. You see that? And that's what they did with the land over there now. All of them claiming that it's theirs, but it don't belong to any of them because Israel is in exile. We are in exile. We are all over the, the world, if you will. Right? Verse 3, And they have cast lots for my people. Right? They bid it on us on the auction block. They pass money from hand to hand to buy and sell us. You see? And they cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, Tyre and Zidon, these other Hamite nations, and all the coasts of Palestine? Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I recompense your Salakia? Will I return your recompense upon your own head? Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem, right? The ten tribes have ye sold unto who? The Grecians, okay? Also the Romans, also the red man, also Esau, Edom, that ye might remove them far from their border, right? They removed us, okay, and parted out the Lord's land. Okay, verse seven, behold, I will raise them out of the place where ye have sold them and I will return your recompense upon your own head. And so we've read how the Lord said that he's going to start paying these other nations back. Okay. So when I looked at this and I saw this, I said, you know what? As the Lord goes forth and brings out his judgment upon the earth, this is part of it, okay? Because those people over there, they're, they're dropping from this J and J V A X, okay? And as the Lord goes forth, we sit back and we watch what the Most High is going to do. We don't have to do anything but keep the faith. Keep the faith in your how about Shem Shah. Everything is going to be taken care of. Okay? So, with that, that's pretty much all I wanted to bring out. You know, I saw, like I said, I saw this uh, little article here and saw how these people are dying over there. And you link it up with, they call it a mysterious uh, disease or sickness. Okay? But we've read where they have shipped all these doses of J&J &J over there and they're jabbing these people up, okay? As you can see here, all right? But the Lord is recompensing and it's gonna be more to come. It's gonna be a whole lot more to come, you know? As the scripture says, paraphrasing, hey, the Lord is not mocked, all right? So with that, I'm going to give all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakodash, double honor to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, Shalom to the hopeful elect out there, and y'all stay up out there, all right? I'll see you on the next lesson real soon. Shalom.